up guys and welcome to my channel Flame River 4. If you're new here and you haven't been here before please press the subscription button and set the bell notifications so that you can be notified of videos like this in the future. Anyway so what we need to do is we're going to get on with my latest pop culture haul. So these are just a couple of pops that we I couldn't find here so I wanted to make sure that I got them and I didn't miss out. And these are the ones that I'm going to be showing you are here. I haven't actually even taken the labels off or anything like that. I will try and discuss prices if the invoices tell me how much they are. So what I'm going to do is just going to quickly crack this one open. Because this is one of the main ones I tried to find. I don't collect this line usually, but I am a sucker for chrome. So I'll give you a clue of what might be inside the box. Let's just check the condition as well. So there was a customs fee to pay. Customs fee was... £13, so it wasn't too bad. Do kind of always expect to pay them. And I wasn't lucky enough to find these in my local Asda. And this is the Chrome Darth Vader. So look at the Chrome on that. I just love Chrome Pops. I don't collect Star Wars because I'm not really a massive Star Wars fan, but I do love the Chromes. I know there's loads of blue Chromes and um, loads of the gold chromes that are out, but I won't be collecting them just to have this iconic one. Um, you know, just to have Darth Vader is good enough for me. So there you go. I do have one that's up for trade as well. So if you guys are looking to trade or anything like that, uh, do check that out. If not, then I'll just pop up on my eBay and uh, just sell them, sell them on. But um, I try to do trades with ones that I need before I do that. I am also looking for the Earth Day exclusive Eve, which I haven't managed to find yet, but our local ones don't ever seem to get get anything good like this. They always still have uh, Fortnite pops in and things like that. So there you are. But yeah, the box condition, absolutely excellent condition. No dings, um, no damage to them whatsoever. So that's good. It's missing the Target sticker. Obviously they didn't come from Target. So I will be sticking the Target sticker on these because that is all that it, that is, is a target sticker. And I think that they look better with them. So I will be putting a target sticker, on, at least on the one that I'm going to be keeping, just so that I know, um, because this is where they rolled it out first. So that's what I want. I don't like the exclusive sticker as much as I do like the ones where they come from the shop. And I'm a bit of a sticker uh, collector, so I do like to have the correct one on there if I can. So um, this box here doesn't look like the corner is very, has been pushed very well. So if I just run my fingers down here, it will put it into place. I can open one of these up and just check it out. I don't know how easy the box will open. And um, what I tend to do is usually put something inside there to open it, but I don't know whether, let's try it with this box. We could try it, it might be awkward, but it will save the box from getting that. So just pop that in there, push it to the edge and then lift it. No, it doesn't want to lift. It's not gonna, it's not gonna work. Let's just, let's just be brutal. It's going to be my one, it's fine. I just want to have an up close look at it. So let's just check it out. It's a bubble head. There you go. So look at that. Look at the chrome on that. Yeah, it's just absolutely amazing. I wish I had one of those turn circles instead of me having to try and twist my hand around detail in this I mean considering he is just a chrome pop the detail in this is absolutely amazing uh, there's no defects on there at the moment so there is a tiny um, a little bit of a seam there either side but other than that it's absolutely perfect condition so yeah I do really like him he's very nice he's definitely one for the collection this will be my one that I put into the collection yeah I do really like that right so let's just pop him back in the box and then check out the other pops that we got I like the red insert as well, so that's a, that's a nice uh, bit of detail that they've put in there, just to give them a nice red background. I will have to see what stickers I have left, because I don't want, I don't like putting the fake stickers on from eBay. I like to put on the stickers that I get off other pops, ones that I'm, I'm not using, or ones that are from damaged pops on eBay, or ones from daubs from B&M and stuff like that. So. There you go, so they're the two Chrome Pops that I've got there. Boxes are also really good. These guys are a small parcel, which is about 3 95 So that's really good, considering... I'm going to see if I can find out how much I pay. I can't remember. I think it was like 9 quid or something like that. We'll see. So, 
So, um, Star Wars Darth Vader. So it says twenty two seventy two. So that's including the, the postage. So twenty two seventy two. There you go. Um, it says that I've got Magneto shipping selected method pack and track was fourteen pounds. Um, so no, maybe not. So it said in total that it was fifty dollars thirty five. So yeah, so fifty dollars thirty five. So there were so the fifty dollars thirty five. The fourteen pound for um, the postage for the two or fourteen dollars, should I say? And it says Magneto discount twenty percent off Star Wars Hut Dam is minus nine dash oh nine. But I don't remember me getting a discount on it, but. Maybe it did. So fifty pound thirty five plus the thirteen pounds here. So you know they they're not um, the cheapest, and they're quite cheap in obviously uh, Asda and stuff like that. But you know what? I'm happy with it. I'm I'm happy that I've got them. So there you go. There's that one. Right. So let's move on to the next ones. These are the Michael Jordans. So these ones again. This is I think this is a Target exclusive um, it's got a special edition sticker on so that will possibly be coming off there um, and the box condition is great absolutely perfect no dings I don't know how they don't get damaged when they're in that box because you know what uh, the box isn't very secure for um, you know it doesn't have anything other than that so if the box gets dinged it tends to ding these as well um, but they are thick they are really thick boxes but you know what they, they, they could they could get a better box and put more packaging in there. I feel like there could be some more. There is a bit of dust in there as well. So there you go. So that is the Michael Jordan pop there. I don't know, you can't really see him very well. I will try and take him out of the box as well. So this one is Michael Jordan. Um, he's the one where he's standing, where he's holding the ball. I do have the one where he's like slam dunking it. Uh, I got this because I grew up watching Space Jam. Loved Michael Jordan, loved um, basketball in general at school. I hated football, but don't mind. I didn't mind basketball, I did like the fact of um, playing basketball that was that was really good right so let's open this up i don't usually take them out of the box but i want you guys to see uh what they what they're like okay so does it doesn't come with a stand but that's cool um condition wise he has a little nick on his head but the packaging is quite harsh on them and uh, the detail with the chicago's is good it's not a bubble head so it's a lot easier, but there you go. He does look good. We will do up close Funko again very soon, just because we need to do that. So there you go, there's the back of him. Really nice, really detailed. I'll see if he stands up. So yeah, there you go. So he stands up really nice. So I'm just gonna pop him up there for a moment. I won't put him away just yet because I wanna take out the one where he's got the Chicago Bulls um, outfit on there. So there, there you go again. So he's wearing the Chicago Bulls outfit. Because of the reflection, I will take this one out as well. Um, so this is 55, that one's 56. So it does run in the line, so that's really good. Let's see if I can open it without causing too much damage. These are my own ones. This is why I'm not worried about taking them out because these are going to my collection. I'm not selling them, I'm not trading them. These are ones that I'm keeping, so. Let's just pop that there. So this one where he's like, about to dribble the ball um, or bounce the ball even. And it does come with a little stand. So he has got a stand there as well. Don't, don't think there is one for the Michael Jordan. So there isn't one for this one here, but there is a stand in this packaging for the one where he's wearing the uh, Chicago Bulls outfit. So there you are. So I'll just try and give it a nice, turn his head a bit. Nice detailed look at him there. So here he is in his Chicago Bulls outfit. And on the back, it's just got all the details there. So it is really, really nice pop. So there's one of him there, dribbling the ball, one of him there, holding the ball. And that's it guys. So yeah, I'm, I'm gonna give these 10 out of 10. Pop culture are really good. I don't know price wise on these. I, I had a customs fee to pay. That was 11 pound 80, so it was a lot less. So it must've been cheaper to buy. I had. I don't know why that chrome pop was so expensive to buy. I can't remember. You know, I just impulse buy. As soon as I see one, I'm like, I've got to have it. If I want it, you know, if you want stuff in life, you should have it. If, if you can't afford it, um, I'd save for it and then try and get it. But, you know, life's too short to not have what you want. 
Right, so here we paid £17.26. Um, in total, it was $47.52. So $47.52. And then we had an £11 surcharge, a customs fee to pay on top of that. So that wasn't too bad for those Funko Pops there. So, you know, uh, I'm happy with that. So that's how much they were in dollars. Right, guys, if you want to know the conversion, you guys are going to have to work it out because I don't have time to do it right now. And plus, I'm recording using my phone, so I won't be able to do that anyway. But there you are. So the, the two Michael Jordan pops, 10 out of 10. Loving the uh, Chrome Darth Vader. Really do like it. If you guys want to trade with one, please do hit me up and find out um, what I'm after. If you want to trade it for the um, Earth Day Eve, I'll be absolutely happy to do that. So, yeah, that's lovely. Thanks very much for watching, guys. You've been watching Flame War 4. Please like, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Take care now. Bye-bye.